We begin with a story that's sending shockwaves through the presidential campaign. After months of denials, former candidate John Edwards admitted today that he had an extramarital affair while his wife was battling cancer, though he denied reports that he fathered a child out of wedlock. In a statement, Edwards said, I made a serious error in judgment and conducted myself in a way that was disloyal to my family and my core beliefs. I recognized my mistake and told my wife that I had a liaison with another woman and I asked for her forgiveness. The admission stunned colleagues. His former campaign chairman, David Bonnier, said today, thousands of friends and supporters of Senator Edwards put their faith and confidence in him, and he has let them down. Our bomb chief spoke late this afternoon with both John and Elizabeth Edwards. We'll go to him for more in just a moment. But first, here's Jeff Greenfield. For two weeks, it's been the biggest story never told, at least not by the mainstream media. The report in the National Enquirer tabloid that former Senator John Edwards had fathered a child by 44-year-old video producer Relly Hunter, had lied about it throughout his presidential campaign, had been caught by Enquirer reporters visiting Hunter and the baby at a Beverly Hills hotel in the middle of the night, and had literally run away from them. Today, after repeatedly refusing to talk about this story, Edwards told a TV interviewer yes and no. Yes, he'd had an affair with Hunter. No, he wasn't the father of her child. Hunter and an Edwards aide, Andy Young, both said publicly months ago that Young was the father, though the birth certificate lists no name for the father. Edwards said the affair had ended long before Hunter became pregnant. They'd met back in 2006, and she traveled with him to Africa, later producing video for his website. Meeting John Edwards uh, was interesting. He was very real and authentic. He was inspirational to me. When the Inquirer alleged last October that Edwards and Hunter had had an affair, the candidate flatly denied it. But today, in a written statement, Edwards said, quote, In the course of several campaigns, I started to believe that I was special and became increasingly egocentric and narcissistic. If you want to beat me up, feel free. You cannot beat me up more than I have already beaten up myself. I have been stripped bare. What do you want? The story goes far beyond the familiar tale of a powerful public man with private flaws. For one thing, John Edwards' wife, Elizabeth, has long been his closest political partner. Diagnosed with breast cancer just after the 2004 election, she has suffered a life-threatening recurrence, which John Edwards cited in the course of his 2008 campaign. And last fall, in an interview with Katie Couric, Edwards himself cited infidelity as a character flaw voters might well count as disabling in a potential president. For a lot of Americans, uh including the family that I grew up with. I mean, it's, it's fundamental to uh, how you judge people and human character, uh, whether you keep your word, whether you keep what is your ultimate word, which is that uh, you love uh, your spouse and you'll stay with them. Today, as increasing media and political pressure forced Edward's hand, those who'd supported and worked for him expressed a range of emotions, from anger to shock. Joe Trippi was a top Edward's campaign strategist. I don't know if it numbs the word, but um, you know, I'm, it's 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 more disappointing. But again, uh, my biggest concern is the family right now. Maybe the most astonishing part of this story is that after Gary Hart's campaign collapsed in scandal 21 years ago, after Bill Clinton twice came close to political death, a major presidential candidate would have risked his entire campaign and perhaps his party's hopes for the White House by running with the threat of scandal hanging over his head. Russ, Jeff Greenfield, thank you very much.